Six months of winter have gone by, and spring has arrived at last, providing a much needed break to both men and animals. Life resumes and the Kyrgyz go back to their regular activities with the animals that survive the cold and lack of food. Every year it's the same routine, ancestral activities that have been learned by all from an early age. For Wulubu, as well as her brother, Nematula, this new season is special. In a few weeks' time, each of them is going to get married. The old shepherd of the clan supervises the packing. The Kyrgyz can go back to their nomadic lifestyle. The grazing lands are depleted at the winter camp. They must search for another spot. They can only go from one side of the narrow plateau to the other. Their migration is short because of the tight borders. At the summer camp, everyone lends a hand to set things up. Here is where Nematula's clan is going to live for the next six months. Wulugbu's wedding will be first, then it will be Nematula's turn. The clan is getting ready for these important events. Aziz comes down from his opium haze to repair the damage brought by the winter.
Bazı mardım kamalas, kampaysas, orogon kurut soğudam ikuna. Bazı mardım maldaras, mal soğudam ikuna. Wulugbu cooks fermented milk that will be dried and made into cheese. In the winter, most of the milk is left to the animals for their young. But in the springtime, the Kyrgyz make cheese. It is set aside for later or traded for other goods. At the summer camp, Roshan keeps a close watch on the animals of his clan. The young chief is concerned about a new danger that is targeting his herd. Part of the tribe fled to Turkey some 30 years ago. The young chief would like to join them. His brother Urunbay is going to attempt to prepare the exodus. Once again, he is the one to make the fateful journey. Urunbay is going to Kabul, 20 days away, where he will board an airplane to Turkey. The trip is as ambitious as it is uncertain. When spring arrives, so do the traffickers. They travel the country to sell their merchandise, the poison that's killing Aziz and his brothers. As his children's weddings draw nearer, Wally continues to squander the few heads of livestock he has left. 
برادر من عبدالوالی هم کم کم میکشه اروشنجی هم میکشه پدرم تریکا بسیار بد دیده بود نه سکریت ایزاپا بسیار دشمان پدرم بود با جای پدرم ها بشنسه او را قام ادم نیست روشنجی هم بچه هست دیگه یک چیز بفهم یک چیز نمیفهم خودش هم یک داره تنبال است مردم بیچاره همه تر یکی شده بود چاره نداره و درد داره و میگره و میکشه دیگه اینا شیطان است اما تر یک پروشه هم از دست تر یک ما بندی هستیم is coming up. She takes advantage of the last few moments with the women of her clan. Soon she will have to leave them. <laughs> For Nematula, the wedding is also imposed upon him. He does not know his bride-to-be. But he lives his last weeks being a single man with a light heart. Tomorrow, Wulugbu is going to get married, but Nematula's wedding date has not been determined yet. Wali must first sacrifice a sheep as a gift to the neighboring clan. His son's family-in-law will then decide on a day. با زن دادن، با خانه کردن، با اونا با خانه دادن دیگه با اوتره مسئولیت با خودش هست Before the end of the ceremony, Roshan, the chief, heads away او یک مومنی همه را همه تو میکنم او چی فکر داره ما چی میکنم خب او خودش جدا میکنم، ما جدا نمیکنم Roshan is upset. He feels disowned by Wali and the entire community. Abdulali nazar dora ki brotheray mo karib nami. Da anonat mo vi tarik ki brother misal tu i dukhtar dora ya bacha tu i bacha sha dora. Boz mard ma bacha brotherish bacha u khudish miga ki biay nijo. ما قطع شما مشوره میکنیم خیلی او تری عبدوالی او گفه نمیگه باز با خاطر امو ما نزدیک نمیاییم عبدوالی میگه که ما کلان وظیفه میگیریم عبدوالی هم تری پیلان داره خیلی ما خان مردم است ما خواهد دایی یک کار میکنیم والی از آنرد بای در مرد از چلدرن روشان آن در هند از جلس Unlike his older brother, he feels he has not earned the tribe's respect. He has been the leader for two years, and yet still hasn't arranged the clan's exile. A messenger brings the cooked meat to the neighboring clan. Wulugbu anxiously waits for the next day. 
wondering what her future husband might look like. The groom's entire family has come from the neighboring campsite, four hours away by horse. They are welcomed with flour, a precious staple, and a symbol of prosperity. This party is a truce for the rival brothers. Roshan greets the guests and goes back to becoming the chief. Wally supervises what's happening in the kitchen. He must make sure that everyone is well served. As elsewhere in the world on a wedding day, the meal is copious. Four sheep were slaughtered to feed the hundred guests. Some yurts are reserved for men, others for women. Nearby, Wulugbu is getting ready. Wulugbu will soon leave the family's yurt, a demanding separation for this girl, barely out of childhood. Wulugbu is waiting for her turn to appear in the wedding parade. The groom arrives with his two best men. They are welcomed by the women of the clan. <laughs> On the other side of the river, the men of both clans are playing a game of buskashi, an equestrian joust for daredevils. The goal is to snatch a headless goat. This is a friendly game where winners get small prizes like cigarettes. Roshan the chief shines at this game. The blows do not put him off. The exact origins of the game are unknown, but some say that they date back to Genghis Khan's Mongol hordes who would loot villages catching women and livestock while at full gallop. To the campsite, Wali's clan offers new clothes to the groom. He dresses up in front of everyone. Yeah. 
Hidden under the red fabric, the mother-in-law passes a white veil on the bride to show that she approves the alliance with her son. Next comes the nikah, the ceremony. Ulugbu is placed behind the cloth that conceals her from the men. The only mullah of the area celebrates the ritual. The sacrament is a mix of Islam and ancestral traditions. The groom will not be allowed into the yurt until the wedding is official. <laughs> By sharing water and bread, the couple exchange their consent. Then they are left alone. Finally, Wulugbu discovers the face of her husband. They can get to know each other. They will spend the next three days in the nuptial yurt. Wulugbu will follow her man to her new family. In a few days, it will be Nemetula's turn to get married. Wali will have fulfilled his role as a father, yet, he remains worried about his children's future. Just like his brothers, Wally thinks that exile is the only solution for the community. Thanks to a satellite phone, Roshan gets in touch with his cousins in Turkey. Without news from Urunbay, what lies ahead for the Kyrgyz is uncertain. In the chief's clan, Nematula is the only one who remains confident. Manam Nazdik Shidin. 